Welcome back. Players Alliance partnering with the Texas Rangers Baseball Foundation and Food for the Soul Monday to host service events in conjunction with Martin Luther King Day, distributing food to families in need. Following the event, athletes from the Rangers Youth Academy will participate in the Players Alliance Equip the Future program, creating mentorship opportunities for young athletes. And we are pleased to be joined now by one of the board members of the Players Alignment, former big leaguer Curtis Granderson, who joins us now here, here on MLB Tonight. Curtis, I saw on your social channels that it was important to you that this day also be recognized as a day of service, and obviously in conjunction with Martin Luther King Day. Why was that point so important that you make it? It's so big in so many different ways, and I think a lot of people forget that you're not where you are without somebody helping you along the way, whether that was a parent, whether that was a sibling, a neighbor, a teacher, or someone else that helped you get to where you are. Now, being in a position as a professional athlete, as a baseball player, we're in a position now where we can help and impact so many different people, whether it's the communities we live in and call home, the communities we play in, or the next generation that's coming up after us. So service and, and giving back and helping out in any way possible is great to do today on MLK Day, but it's something that should be done all year long. Grandy man, what's up, man? It's Case. Hey, uh, you know, you're doing wonderful things with the Players Alliance, man. What a wonderful career you had, too. It was, it was a pleasure playing with you those two years in Detroit. What's been the biggest need that you think that the Players Alliance has had to address so far? Wow, there, there's a number of them, and it's amazing to, to just narrow it down to just one, but basically just diversity and inclusion in and throughout our game. You look at it, and again, uh, on Jackie Robinson Day on April 15th, when you all are broadcasting and covering it, you're going to announce a stat, and it's going to show that the black population in the major leagues is just over 7%. If we're lucky and we get a lot more players to get in there this year and make the opening day roster, it might tick up a little bit more than that. But that's drastically down from where it was. And it's not just from the players on the field. You look at managers, there's only two. You look at owners, you have a part owner there with Magic Johnson over there with the Dodgers. But just across the board, just the lack of diversity in the game in comparison to where it was and where it ultimately could be. Now, Kenny Williams, you know, president of operations with the, the Chicago White Sox, said something very impactful. He said, look, I'm not trying to say that everyone that's in a position that you don't belong, but you definitely can't say that there aren't enough qualified individuals that look like me that should be in some of these positions. And that's some of the things that we're really trying to strive for with the Players Alliance. Curtis, for those asking and watching this and, and asking themselves, why is it important? I mean, if the player's good enough, they can make it to the big leagues, they'll find a way. Why is it important, uh, the, the, the idea of diversity and inclusion, uh, not just at the levels that you mentioned, but, but at all levels of, of Major League Baseball? Why is it important? And that's the key. It's at all levels. Obviously, Major League Baseball is difficult. I mean, these are the top players in the entire world. And I was fortunate enough to get a chance to play with Sean Casey, like he said, and had so <laughs> many diverse teammates from all over. But you don't get to that point if you don't start playing. And when you get a chance to start playing at a young age, I started when I was six years old. You start to move up the ranks and you run into different challenges. That's why you saw out there the Players Alliance was doing our Equip the Future to mentor those young players that are going to start to run through those hurdles, whether it's being priced out of the game, whether it's being the only one on the team and you're facing those difficulties where no one looks like you, you might be getting treated a little bit differently. And you're thinking about, should I go ahead and play something else? Or should I stay in this great game that I am good at, that I do enjoy and like, so I can start to see my skills, hopefully transgress and get me an opportunity to play at the next level, whether that's high school, college, or at the professional level. But so many of our young kids, especially black kids, end up out of the game between the ages of 12 and 13. Mm -hmm. And what's crazy, one of our founding members, Edwin Jackson, made it to the major leagues at, se at 17 years old. So... Soon after a lot of these players are not in baseball anymore, there's some players that are getting a chance to get drafted, to sign a professional contract, and have a professional career. So we just want to make sure that that opportunity continues to remain. Well, Grandy, you made sure, man, 16 years in the big leagues and had a big impact wherever you went. When you look back at your career, brother, what was the most memorable moment for you? The most memorable moment for me was actually getting called up to the major leagues. Uh, it was 2004. I was playing double-A in the Eastern League with the Erie Seawolves. And at the end of every season, after I had worn down my batting gloves and worn down my gloves and all that, I would just throw them away because I couldn't take them to the next season with me. I would get some new stuff to start the next year. Well, at the end of that last game, I get called into the office after I'd already thrown everything away. 
and they say, hey, you're going up to the big leagues to Detroit. So now I got to go back to the garbage can, pull my cleats out, pull my gloves out, throw them in my bag, and make it up to Detroit to make my debut the next day. Hey, uh, that, that's a great story. That's a great How'd you do in your debut, bro? Uh, I was so tired. I, I had missed, we missed our flight going there. Even though we were only from Erie to Detroit, it was a four hour drive. So we're driving, we get in. Luckily, I didn't play the first day, so I'm so happy get a chance to nap, and then the next day I debut against the Minnesota Twins. I had dropped the offer on it, but I made it through the day finally. I was like, wow, I'm a major league guy. I got my own uniform. I got my own hat. I got my own bat, all these great things, and finally got a chance to start my major league career. Hey, awesome. Curtis, uh, we'll get you out of here on this one. Speaking of uh, of hat and balls and uniforms and equipment, uh, the Players Alliance, we began the segment showing the Players Alliance working in Arlington in conjunction with the Rangers uh, Baseball Foundation. But the Players Alliance donated more than $200,000 in new equipment to support 640 players as part of the Don't Blink Home Run Derby last month in the Bahamas. We're looking at some of the footage now. What was the event like? Uh, this is an amazing event event down in the Bahamas. Todd Isaac Jr., Todd Isaac Sr., Lucius Fox, Jazz Chisholm, just to name a few, some of the Bohemian greats that are getting a chance to have amazing impact on black baseball in that country. Baseball was something that was very big about 10, 20 years ago, and then it kind of started to fall off, and they are doing a great job bringing it back. The prime minister is on board. All these players flew to this country to get a chance to watch a home run derby to see balls get hit into the ocean, which is really cool. And again, I'm in Chicago right now. It's cold now. So yeah. it's great to get a chance to be down there in the Bahamas to watch them do great things. But one interesting fact about what they're doing with Don't Blink, every player that has participated in that home run derby has made it to the major leagues. Lewis wow. Brinson, Jazz Chisholm, uh, I'm trying to think of a few of them, um, Tuki Toussaint. Uh, a bunch of just players. Just, if you want to get a chance to make it to the big leagues, go to the Don't Blink <laughs> Home Run Derby in the Bahamas in the off season and get yourself ready because you're going to get called up to the big league soon after. I'm heading back there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Curtis, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much for joining us here on MLB tonight. And congratulations on all the work you and the Players Alliance are doing. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thank you to the Texas Rangers for having us out today. And we were also in Arizona at MLG Dream this weekend. So we had a lot going on. It wasn't just one day, a lot of ways to give back to the community. So thank you again.